everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley and this is Martin Midlife Misadventures. Today we're going to flower it up and guess what we're making? English muffins. They're easy guys and I really hope you'll give this recipe a try. Also, no oven. You cook these on the stovetop, okay? Every time. It's not an oven recipe, it's a stovetop recipe. Super excited about this because you could do this on your camp stove as well or open fire easily. Are you ready to make some English muffins? Let's get started. All right, friends, for our English muffins, what we're going to need is four cups of flour, a half a cup of water, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, three quarters a cup of milk, and this is butter. We're going to need about two tablespoons, and you want that to be softened. If it melts a little, that's okay. Just try to keep it softened. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, because I did get my water a little warm, and my milk is room temperature, I'm going to add that in there. We want to get this yeast blooming, so I'm going to add my tablespoon of sugar as well, and I'm going to add my tablespoon of yeast. On the yeast, you could go a little heaping, but it's really not necessary. And then we got our yeast in there. Mix up the yeast and just let it sit. We're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm going to get my four cups of flour and salt into a bowl. And I don't know if I mentioned you're also going to need about two tablespoons of cornmeal. And this is vital to this recipe. So make sure you have cornmeal on hand. It's been 10 minutes. Our yeast mixture is ready. I added the one teaspoon of salt to four cups of flour, stirred it around, and now I'm dumping in the yeast mixture. Oh my gosh, it got so bubbly. Let's get all of that out of there. You can start mixing it with your spatula. We're not going for a super smooth, smooth dough at first. We've got our little shaggy, and now we need to get our butter. I've got my two tablespoons of butter. I did melt it a little because it was way too hard. You really want it to be soft. Get that dumped in there, and now we're going to knead in this butter. Just like we did with the margarine on our French bread. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. In fact, you need to look at the entire playlist for Flower It Up. We have so many participants. Now, I can already tell that this dough is fantastic. All right, I've kneaded it for a couple minutes. Now all I'm going to do, if you feel like it's too dry, you can add a little bit of butter or oil on the top of it, but just cover it and set it in a warm place for about an hour until it's doubled in size. All right, let's take a look at our dough. Look at that. All right, let's pull it out. It comes right out. Get a little flour and lightly flour your surface. Put your dough on. Let's get just a little bit on the top of it. Now we're going to roll this out just as it is, okay? We want to, I think I'm going to start here. We're going for about a half an inch thick on this dough. And you can gather the scraps together after you punch them out. I think that looks about good for our first cutting. So what you need is you have to have, this is where our cornmeal comes in. Lightly put a dusting of cornmeal on the bottom of your sheet here and set it aside. You need a three inch cutter, okay? Let's start as close to the edge as we can get. Press down, and unlike biscuits, you do want to twist this a little, okay? We want to seal those edges. And we're going to do that all the way around. These are too small. 
So what we're going to do is just gather these first. And we are going to set them on our tray because we are going to put a cover over these and let them proof once again for about 30 minutes. And I will gather these scraps. Uh-oh. Roll some more because we're going to use all of it. On the surface here now, get a little bit more cornmeal and just dust the tops. Because as they proof a little more, some of this cornmeal will get absorbed into them. So not all of it, so don't worry about if you think you put too much. All right, that's it. We're gonna cover them with a tea towel, let them sit for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna cook them. When we're about 10 minutes away, right, 20 minutes of proofing, we're gonna start heating our skillet. I'm using this cast iron flat skillet. You can use any skillet you prefer, okay? We wanna heat it to a medium heat. Here we go. Look at them. See how they're puffing up? I think we should be able to get five or six on this pan. Let's see. There's a little kitty hair. I saw it. You want to have space between them, okay? Half inch to an inch. You want that heat to be able to get around them. I think we're just going to do that. You don't want to overcrowd these. Now, these are going to cook on a medium to medium high heat. You're not going to flip them for five to seven minutes. We will gently look at the five minute mark. Right, we are going to flip them at this five minute mark. Oops. Would you look at that? Oh. Look at. Absolutely perfect. Alright, I think the pan's hotter over here because look how dark this one is. So move them around. Start your timer for another five minutes. Let's flip them. Oh my gosh, they're perfect. Okay, we need to get these transferred right away to a dish. I've got a pan on standby here in my oven. I'm just going to stack them in there and get another load going. Now your cornmeal here, see how it's getting a little dark? You might want to scrape some of that off of your pan before you put the next load in, okay? Because it can get pretty dark. See that? Just toss it and put your new ones down. I've got five more going and four more after this. I want to show you because I just flipped my second batch. See how these are a little bit darker? These are the ones from the pieces I put back together. These are from the ones I cut initially. So it really makes a difference to try to get as many cut out of that first cutting as possible. But they're looking good. We're almost ready for that taste test. Look at this English muffin. Can you even believe it? Now I am going to handle it while it's still warm. I want you to see how easy... I'm using a really... Look, the tips broke off of it really old knife. You could use a little fork and break them. Ooh, hot! We've got crannies. Let's get some butter. Nice butter melted on there. Oh! Amy's requested the last of Mom's nectarine jam. Oh my gosh, this was so delicious, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Now it's spreading beautifully. Let's get the other side. Nice nectarine jam. Mmm. Look at that goodness. Would you look at that? Are you ready for a taste test? Oh, so ready. Are you ready to try I am these? I'm so ready. Okay. <laughs> Take a bite. Ooh. Ooh. You hear that? Yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That is so good. Check that out. Oh. Nice crunch. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
All right, friends, what do you think about those English muffins? They are so, so good. They make the best breakfast sandwiches, and you can freeze them. These are freezable, so you could make a batch and freeze them. You're going to get 13, right? 13 to 14, about a baker's dozen, so you could eat half, freeze half, whatever you want to do. You can make little pizzas on them. English muffins are just great. Sandwiches, just by themselves, breakfast, anything, name it. And when notice when I pulled that dough out... When, after we proofed it and I was going to roll it, I didn't mess with it. You really need to not mess with it. It should roll out perfectly fine with you, for you, with a little bit of flour on there. That rising, those those crannies you saw, that's your nooks and crannies inside your English muffin. So try not to mess with it too much. And if you end up having to, like I had to put a lot of scraps together, just bake those last, okay? Give them more time to proof and develop more crannies in there. I really really hope you'll give this a try, all right? And all you creators out there, flower it up. Make a video, okay? Tag us in it. Put the hashtag flower it up in it, and we will add you to our playlist. We're trying to teach people to not be afraid to get in those kitchens and kitchens and bake, okay? Learning how to bake all our own goods from scratch, all right? Please make a video and we'll be happy to add you to the playlist. All right, everybody, make those English muffins and let me know all about it, okay? Give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share, and we're going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you.